would you do if you had a second chance in life and leadership? This is an underlying question in a TV show that I have become obsessed with. And you know, I'm not normally into TV shows and binge watching. I'd much rather be kind of outdoors or exploring a little bit somewhere. But this is a show that I really love. And um, for those of you who are familiar with Manifest, you will know that on August 28th, um, 828, it was announced that the show that had previously been canceled from the networks after a huge rally during the summertime this year, 2021, raving fans around the world were really pushing for this show to be completed because it was canceled at a cliffhanger and it's essentially a supernatural drama. It's a mystery about a group of passengers on flight 828 from Jamaica who leave their, their vacation or their time in Jamaica on their way to New York City. They do land after a bad storm, but it's five years later and the mystery kind of unfolds and with different plot twists and turns that um, become increasingly incredulous. And I think this is what um, upset the critics. The critics are stumped. They can't understand why there's such a massive following. Um, that They'll look at dissecting the dialogue or understanding the plot twists or the writing. And what I think they fail to understand is that at core, this is about the universal human urge to recreate ourselves, to have a second chance, to find possibilities and meaning when our lives have been completely disrupted, completely turned upside down, and adversity hits in ways that we could never have imagined. And it's, it's interesting because some of the characters in the show, um, you know, succumb to the stress and, and, and the upheaval, the depression, the anxiety that would naturally result when your life got basically the rug pulled out from underneath it and you come back to a world that doesn't remember you, thought you were long dead. Um, you know, you can imagine the, the, the plot twists and turns. So some of the characters deal with post-traumatic stress disorder. It, it makes good sense. And yet there is another body of research that looks at how a minority of people, maybe not the majority, but a minority of people can actually grow and blossom from traumatic events, upheaval, discord, adversity, challenges like we're experiencing now. This is a body of research that comes out of Harvard and there are other uh, researchers from other institutions, but essentially it looks, it's called post-traumatic growth, PTG. And it looks at how a minority of people can use these very challenging, life disrupting, adverse, events and traumatic experiences where it causes you to fundamentally rethink who you are or your place in the world around you. And you emerge actually with um, unexpected gifts in the form of perhaps new opportunities, new possibilities where you didn't see any in the past. Deeper quality relationships, knowing how much you truly value the people around you, having come back and, and, and having lost somebody for a while or lost your sense of your life. A greater significance in of, of meaning and or appreciation for life as a whole or a deeper sense of an inner strength that you did not know or claim previously, as well as a deeper sense of spirituality, a sense that there's a greater meaning to all this craziness that we're going through on a day-to-day -day basis. Which leads me to the second theme that I think is present in this show that the majority of critics are not tapping into. And that is the basic theme that there's a fundamental kind of good that is evolving even from more uh, challenging, adverse situations or challenges. That all things conspire for our good, not necessarily all things are kind of spiraling downward into <laughs> negative outcomes. And I think this is a message of hope. It's a, a it's also an orientation. It's a, a belief that many of us have. I, for one, believe that there is, that life is always conspiring for my good, even when it doesn't feel like it. And I have personally benefited from this experience of post-traumatic growth going through um, what were very um, challenging times when I lost everything everything in 2012. My marriage, all my life savings, a consulting project that was akin to losing a job right before Christmas, didn't know how I was gonna feed my kids. I mean, everything turned upside down within uh, a matter of months. And it was challenging some days for sure, but I can tell you that I have definite unexpected gifts in several of those areas. So my invitation for you is to really give some thought 
you know, this world right now is giving us a chance to rethink how we live and how we lead. We do have a second chance to reinvent how we step forward. Goodness knows when the pandemic will end, right? When things will evolve, but you get to be at choice to what you are developing during this time of upheaval, what unexpected gifts there may be for you to discover, to discover and who you will become and emerge from this pandemic, this time in history, this grand shift of our times, who will you emerge as and what will that second chance be a testimony to when you go forward? Give that some thought. Think about the hardships that you're going through right now, the struggles that you're going through right now. We're all facing it. Has your life strengthened in some ways? Are, are there opportunities or possibilities that you didn't see before? Have your relationships deepened? those that you really, really care about, or maybe those that you, you had not connected with for years, new friends, you know, have your relationships deepened? Do you have a renewed sense of appreciation for life? Have you discovered some strength that you didn't know? Or has your sense of spirituality, your trust in the universe deepened or expanded? Give it some thought, claim those gifts, and decide who you are becoming with your second chance. And let me know what you decide. I'm really excited that we as humans can really have this chance to evolve. And I'm excited that Manifest is gonna be back on in a matter of months. So if you're a fellow 828er, just let me know. All right, look forward to catching up with you guys on LinkedIn. Let me know what you're thinking you're gonna do with your second chance.